Come see what's popping up at Poppy, the familiar downtown boutique with a new name. Poppy features brands catering to men and women to fulfill your home decor, complete your kitchen, pick out the perfect gift, or get you dressed for when you're on the go. Poppy carries brands like La Creuset, Finex, Vitamix, and Wustop knives to complete your perfect meal. And we've added new Jack Black products along with men's belts and more for the guy in your life. Don't forget 12 ranch wines, gifts for the bride, and a wide assortment of attire like Malvi jeans, relished, and Johnny Was clothing. New store name, same great location on Main. Come shop happy at Poppy. Hello, I'm Kurt Lidke with the Herald and News. Here's a rundown of some of the top stories affecting Klamath County. It's the Klamath Countdown. Students at Klamath Community College will be paying more starting this summer, following a unanimous vote by the KCC Board of Education on Tuesday to raise tuition by 7%. The move was recommended by the Budget Committee back on May 9th, following similar steps undertaken across the state by community colleges. While costs are going up, so are choices, as KCC is adding a new Advanced Manufacturing Engineering Technology Associates of Applied Science degree program in a partnership with Oregon Tech. The OCE Woods Line Trail, a former railroad line carrying timber from Klamath Falls to Bly for nearly a century, then converted to a 109 mile trail, has a new means to experience a different side of Klamath County. A free mountain bike checkout program is launching in June where day use riders can acquire a bike to experience the 8 mile paved portion of the trail or beyond on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 9 to 4. The trailhead is marked by a big red caboose just off Washburn Way in Klamath Falls, with the paved portion continuing out into the country to Olean. Chiloquin officials have drafted a proposed recreational marijuana ordinance, with further revisions expected before a final draft is approved. City Council met on Tuesday, summarizing policies proposed by the Council following a series of public workshops to gather input. The planned ordinance would establish more stringent regulations than what the state law mandates, placing limitations on hours of operation, number of dispensaries permitted, location of grow sites, distance from schools, added fees, and more. Memorial Day is Monday, normally a time to remember the sacrifices of others, but often overlooked are those that worked tirelessly to honor past generations. At the Linkville Pioneer Cemetery, the oldest in Klamath Falls, which contains the remains of many of the earliest settlers and prominent past citizens of Klamath County, new signage was recently dedicated in recognition of one person who for years went above and beyond in service to the past, Liz Booty. Booty died two years ago, and during her time on the cemetery board and with the Klamath Historical Society, she pushed ardently for annual volunteer cleanup activities at the cemetery, as well as acquiring multiple grants to get proper markers and improvements. In recognition of her efforts, a new map at the main entrance was dedicated in her memory. So it's Memorial Day weekend. Enjoy the day off for those lucky enough to get it, but there's plenty happening to enjoy the holiday however you choose. Saturday, Tule Lake Butte Valley Fairgrounds are hosting the annual Art of Survival Century Bike Ride. Klamath Tribes are participating in the annual Salmon Relay Run and hosting their annual Memorial Day Pow Wow. The Baldwin Museum opens its summer season. Heritage Days at Fort Klamath. There's a barbecue at Big Springs Park on Sunday in Bonanza. And on Memorial Day Monday, don't miss the Klamath Freedom Celebration Parade and remember through downtown Klamath Falls starting at 11 a.m. Until next week, for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up your daily copy of the Herald and News or visit us online at heraldandnews.com.